All right. So I am here with my client and friend, Courtney. We've known each other for years yeah. <laughs> and it's so nice to be more uh, connected recently. So Courtney just finished Authentic and Aligned a couple of weeks ago. And so I would love to know, Courtney, when you first decided to sign up, what was going on in your life? Why did you decide to join Authentic and Aligned? I decided to join because last fall, a series of events, personal and professional, were kind of colliding. And I felt like I was living the movie Groundhog's Day. Like it was just, no matter what I was doing, things were happening over and over and over in the same sequence and there was no break. And after I had attended your retreat last fall, where I got a lot of insight, when the opportunity came for Authentic Align, you and I conversed by email to figure out if this was right. And I realized, yeah, I need to have more of a deeper understanding in how I function as a perfect person. Where am I off in my spiritual alignment, not just to myself, but in my, what I'm here to do. And so after our calls and, you know, consulting with guidance, I said, yeah, this is, this is the right step to stop the groundhog's day. <laughs> yeah. I was going to bring that up if you didn't, the groundhog day thing, because it's such a great analogy for, I think that's common, right? Like a, a way a lot of people live their life is just going through the motions. Mm -hmm. What was that experience like when you call it Groundhog's Day? What was that like for you? It was like, it, as you said, it was like going through the motions. But the crazy thing is, it's like I was expecting a different outcome. Mm, so I was actually living the definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over, but expecting a different outcome. <laughs> <laughs> and it just felt life was flat. I just felt like I was literally just stirring in the same spot. And I just couldn't get the forward momentum that I needed. Right. Yeah. So what was the transformation that you experienced for yourself during the 90 days that inauthentic and aligned? Oh, it was a, it was with gentleness and ease. Thank goodness. But what I learned about myself is I had a deeper acceptance of how I can operate as a soul, not just as a person, but as a soul. And with each class and with each topic and with each layer, there was just another layer that was unfolded that revealed a concept or even a blinder that I didn't realize that was there, that was influencing how I was perceiving life mm -hmm. and how I was perceiving my actions to my outcomes. I didn't realize that I was spinning the way I was because I was putting into my outcome in a way that didn't work for how my soul was programmed. Yeah. So was that because of, you know, influence from upbringing or society? What would you say? I would say both. Yeah. Yeah. Especially near the end where I realized in one of our sessions that one of the reasons I had a hard time manifesting. So for all of you, that's something we work through in, in the course it was because of a transgenerational issue mm. that is ingrained within my family and really my culture as a black American. Mm -hmm. um, that was a big revelation. I don't think that I would have been able to come to that conclusion had I not done your program. And you know, you all, you know, I'm a seeker. I'm someone who's on this path of seeking. I think other modes would not have brought it to me in the way that I could have understood it. And that was also safe for me to share in a group of others that received it with space and peace and love. Mm, that's so powerful. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. And I think that it is the experience that people will have in authentic and aligned because we do a lot of work of really looking in at what is my authentic soul self mm -hmm. And seeing the difference between that, the real you, that authentic soul self, as opposed to the things that we've learned from the environment. Because a lot of times it's really hard to tell, right? And I'm still on that journey myself a lot of times of like, oh, that's actually my mother or that's my father. Or like you were saying, the, the generations of my culture. So when, when you can really get an alignment with your true self, mm -hmm. then you're on that path to manifesting the life you desire. And so many people are trying to change things out there without doing that inner work first. Yeah. Yeah. 
So when you did that inner work, then how did the outer things in your life start to shift? In my personal life, I've been able to establish boundaries or have conversations with even family that they may not be the most healthy of relationships. And my authentic self, my more aligned self says, you just end it right here. They're coming to you from their viewpoint and you have your viewpoint and you're just not matching. There's no need to fight. Just let you stay where you are. They'll stay where they are. And then there's just peace. I had a job interview during our, actually during our um, our time together. And the first two minutes, I'm like, oh, oh, this is just wrong. Like, this is whole thing is wrong. Like, 20 more minutes of this interview? Oh, this is terrible. Like, mm-hmm. my former unaligned self would have really wanted that interview or wanted that job, even though the signs were there saying this is not aligned for you. But to realize it in less than 30 seconds, and I was like, oh, okay, I just have to answer these questions. Hopefully something comes out of my mouth. Like, I just released it because my my authentic self recognized immediately, it's okay that this isn't for you. Just practice the interview. Yes, I love it. And that's really powerful for people watching because you will... Imagine if you didn't know any better, right? And you go for this job that's just totally out of alignment. That could waste so much time in a person's life. So it's okay to say no to something that isn't aligned because now you're really clear on what is that opportunity for you. Yes. So what would you tell someone who might be on the fence about signing up for Authentic and Aligned? I would tell them if there's a doubt you should probably jump and just take, have faith and take the opportunity because it's something that will bring you unexpected awareness and information. And usually what we're on the fence about is something that we need to know or Mm -hmm. something that we need to work through. Um, And, you know, they can have a conversation, like you and I have a longstanding friendship. So it was easier for me to come to you, but I would definitely say, have a conversation Mm -hmm. with you. Mm. feel it out a little bit more, take your time. But if it keeps repeating and coming back to you, fear or no fear, just take a chance. Mm. Don't lose anything. I really think they will gain. Yeah. That's a very spiritual way to answer the question. And I love it <laughs> because it's like deep down, we usually know, right? <laughs> yeah. The other thing I was going to bring up too is like authentic and aligned is kind of two parts, right? It's private sessions and group calls. So what would you say was the benefit of doing those private sessions with the program? I thought the benefit of doing the private sessions is to really work out what is being revealed about you in a one-on-one setting. Mm -hmm. It wasn't done publicly. And I think sometimes whenever we're doing group work, it can be a little too vulnerable. And I think the one-on-one sessions has, especially if you started before the course itself starts, it gets, it gives you an opportunity to get your vibe and how you're, you know, setting the pace as well as to get an understanding or a feeling of, oh, okay, there's some information coming to me. And it also gives you time to like sit and resonate. Um, and with the one-on-one, you can ask all the questions you need. Mm -hmm. Um, and even send a follow-up email. I mean, I didn't have to this time in years past I have. Um, But I like the one-on-one because it just gave an opening to myself without the voices of the group. Yeah. So that when we would come into the group setting, we already knew what our spiritual voice was or what that kind of felt like. Yeah. And what you're bringing up is really important for that authentic part of the program, because people are learning their unique vibration and their values. And that's very personal, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's why I keep that private. And then what would you say is the benefit of being in the group sessions? The benefit of being in the group session is just fellowshipping with other like-minded people who are on the same seeker's journey. We're not looking for the same outcome, but we're struggling through the same thing of, I don't know where my authentic self is. I don't know where the alignment is. All we know is that something was off. Yeah. (laughs) And so when you're communicating, you hear someone that says something that's like, oh, and it resonates for you, right? 
And then you do the small breakout groups. And there are times where you play, you pair us with like-minded um, profile assignments, if I could put it that way. And when you discuss with that other partner, that theme, it's like, oh, well, I'm not alone. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that and I love that you're bringing up that you learn from other people in the group, right? Because mm -hmm. that's my intention. It's like people have so much wisdom that you can gain and that each person will share wisdom with others too. And it just becomes this exponential growth experience with everybody. Awesome. So is there anything else you want to share about Authentic and Align? Anything else coming to your mind? Yeah, I just think it was it was a really wonderful, unexpected gift to myself. Like this is being done for me mm -hmm. and for me only for the benefit of my whole life. And when you come into a program like Authentic Align, you really learn that what you're learning about yourself is just gifting yourself what you deserve, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Which is your true authentic soul aligned self. <laughs> Yes. And I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but what I'm just perceiving in you as I look at you right now, because I'm very visual, you know, um, is that now that you're so in alignment with your true authentic self, as different things come up in the future, maybe a job change, maybe a move, I know you've been considering that, you'll be able to discern that much more easily and quickly, whether it's a, it's a yes or a no, if it's in alignment for you. Yeah. You have that inner pivot now. Yeah. And I've even noticed when I find out that other people have moved or they've taken another job, my pivot is so strong now. There's no yearning to have that same move or whatever they have because my pivot is just very centered now. So it's like, well, I hope they have a great experience. <laughs> like, yes. It, really does, it doesn't even impact me. Yeah. I talk a lot about how people just get in this mode in life of spinning their wheels the hamster wheel and yeah. part of that is because I look oh that person's doing that maybe I should go there that person's doing that maybe I should go there but when you have that pivot you can stay on the track that's your unique path and purpose yes awesome yes that's my intention for the program so I'm so thrilled for you Courtney it was absolute pleasure having you in the group and thank you so much for sharing today Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for having me. Yeah. <laughs>